It all started with a pillowcase, a simple little pillowcase. My name is Linda Runis, and we're talking about costuming today. My grandmother was a seamstress, and I'd always wanted to be like her and learn what she was doing. And when I was nine years old, my grandmother taught me how to sew on a sewing machine, antique treadle machine. You had to push a pedal at the bottom to make it go. And I made my first garment. Actually, it was a pillowcase. I just kept going. I made skirts, I made all kinds of stuff after that. By the time I was in junior high, I could make a complete garment. I don't necessarily think I ever looked at it as a hobby because it was always made from necessity or with a specific goal. I made clothes to wear. And I know that sounds, mm, she made her own clothes, but they really were lovely. And as I was in high school, I started doing more and more theater and started making costumes or working on costumes and the more involved I got in theater the more well we've got to have this costume fixed so I could do that. I for many years I co-produced a children's theater company and did a lot of costuming. Did costumes for shows like Little Women and The Wizard of Oz. Made lots of munchkins. In the mid 90s Mannheim Steamroller was reconfiguring the way they toured. They had were going from doing Christmas shows in theaters like the Orpheum here in Omaha to doing huge arena events for their Christmas show. And to kind of create that warm, fuzzy holiday feeling, they were having walk-around characters, um, elves, toy soldiers, gingerbread cookies, giant snowmen and they needed someone to do that and again it's in this business it's so often not what you know but who you know my husband was the production manager and lighting designer for Mannheim Steamroller and that's how I got the job but we had eight or nine ten years of touring shows that had to be remounted every year sent all of those costumes enough for 38 characters went on tour every year. That kind of peaked when they decided to cut back on that touring show. Um, Chip Davis had an injury and could not tour anymore for a while and so they decided to scale back the show and go back to doing smaller venues and they weren't going to use the walk around characters anymore. So at that point I looked around for other things to do. Um, I have since been very fortunate to work with the local wardrobe union. Um, I've been able to work on several of the Broadway shows that have come to town. Um, I've helped mount two Taylor Swift tours. That's a lot of costumes, a lot of sequins, a lot of glitter. They're beautiful. Um, and that's been a lot of fun. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, and that keeps me fairly busy. Sewing has meant so much to me, and I didn't even know it a lot of the time. But when I first started, it was, there was such a sense of accomplishment when I would complete a project, and that was great. And then over the years, it has become a real connection with my grandmother. And I don't sit down at the sewing machine ever that I don't think of her and appreciate everything she did for me. I always made all my kids Halloween costumes. I've done shows for other theaters. I've, I've made several wedding dresses, some of them even my own. Um, I've done a lot, a lot of, a lot of sewing in my day. 